easily convert a manual 5 or 6 series pump into an automatic pump with an RS5 accessory switch. I'm Jeremiah Brody. I'll be your guide as we discuss the Little Giant Design Diaphragm Switch. Easily convert a Little Giant manual pump to an automatic operation while using Little Giant's RS5 diaphragm switch. This switch is activated when rising water around the switch housing applies pressure to a diaphragm, supplying power to the pump. A small footprint, this switch can be used in compact sump pits or basins. Reliable and versatile, this switch is self-contained with no moving parts. It can be used for pumps with a 115 volt option up to one half horsepower and with a 230 volt option up to one horsepower. Today we'll discuss how to convert a manual 5 series MSP into an automatic pump using the Little Giant RS5 diaphragm switch. Let's start with the physical installation. Attach the RS5 directly to the pump housing of the 5 MSP using the provided screws. Use provided cable ties to secure the power cords together. Place the pump on a solid surface and water at least one inch deep for proper operation of the pump and switch. Moving on to electrical connections. The RS5 115 volt switch is supplied with a grounded three prong piggyback plug receptacle on the cord and must be used with pumps that have three prong plugs. The switch cord contains a breather tube. Be sure the switch cord is not pinched so that the breather tube is obstructed. Unrestricted airflow in the breather tube is required for proper operation. The RS5 230 volt switch is supplied with a stripped wire cord end. Power connections must be made within a junction box and must comply with the National Electrical Code. Wires are colored green and yellow it's equals ground, brown equals line, blue equals line for 230 volt, or neutral for 115 volt. Test the pump after all electrical connections have been made. Run water into the area where the pump is to be placed. Do not attempt to run the pump without water. This can result in permanent damage to the pump. Fill the area to a normal on level and allow the pump to remove the water to a normal off level. If the pump does not operate, disconnect the switch and plug the pump directly into the power supply to operate in manual control. If the pump works, the switch is defective and needs to be replaced. Let's review. Today we discussed the physical installation of the RS5 attaching the switch directly into the pump housing of the 5 MSP. Next, we reviewed electrical connections for both the 115 volt and 230 volt switch. Last, we demonstrated operation testing. To learn more, visit Franklin Tech Online and leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Your feedback will help us continue bringing great content. Thanks for watching.